I wanted to show you if you're into your Santangle or Zentangle and, or you're doodling, just doodling in general, this is a really cool thing that you can do on your scan and cut and you can do it on all of them. It doesn't matter whether you've got the original CM600 or whether you've got the SDX 1200, it's available for all of you. So I've brought on the um, Dahlia file that we've used previously and I've grouped it together with its outside edge because I want to show you the difference that, it, that that makes when you add your draw fill function. So I'm going to press OK and I'm going to go into this button here, which is your draw fill. When you click on that, you have to turn the fill on. And then you also, you can set the um, line spacing as well. So if we make that, I don't know, we can just take it up to, let's just take it up to 0 0.6, which will be, yeah, that'll be fine. Right, so when I, you can also set the fill direction so you can have it going straight or you can have it going wonky. So you've got that option as well. I call it wonky, it's not it's di diagonally. And then you've got your fill patterns on here as well. So I'm going to click on that. You can get it to colour in. You can get it to draw straight lines. So if you're a journaler and you want to have lines drawn for your journaling, it will do that. And don't forget, you can put pencils in your universal pen holder as well. Just make sure your pressure is really, really low on a negative scale. Um, minus six, minus seven, something like that, because you don't want to break the lead. But you also have this, which is a grid. Now, when I used to do Zentangle, I would draw out my grid. So I'd get my ruler and I'd draw a square and I'd do centimeter squares and it would take forever to do, it would take longer to do that than it would to do the, the doodling bit. But the scan and cut will do this for you. So if I put that on now with the grouped shape and I come out of here, bear with, switch it on, Melanie, that would help. Then I've got the draw fill function on. When I come out, can you see it's put the squares in all over because it sees the square on top of the petals. So it fills the top shape, which makes complete sense, doesn't it? Now that's really good if you're new to, ta to tangling and you like to do squares as a grid rather than just random designs. So what you could do as a new one is draw all that out and then fill in the squares because you've got the grid in between the petals as well. So you can see better where you start your tangle. If you are used to it, you can just put it in the petals, which is fabulous. So the way that you do that, I'm going to press OK. I'm going to just turn that fill function off so that we can see it without it while we do this bit. So I'm going to ungroup that and tap the screen to release the shapes. And I'm going to put the outside edge in the bin. So I've just got all the petals now. And because we've made sure that these have all been designed so that there's no stray paths, this is what it looks like. It now sees all these as an open space. So it works really well. So this time I'm going to go into object edit. I'm going to go to my draw fill function. I'm going to put it on and I'm going to make that spacing a little bit bigger. So let's go up to there this time so you can see the bigger squares. I'm going to press OK and now what it's done is it's put that grid inside each individual petal but not in between them. So you then would, I would start with this one, I would start with two full squares and then work backwards on the part ones. And I'm going to try and do a little bit of it for you on one of the shows. But to do it, it just takes a while to do sand tangle, as you know. So that's a really cool added extra that you can do. So instead of you getting, drawing all that out and then it, you putting all the grid in and where does this box go and where does that box go? It does it for you. And I think that is really cool. So if you've got like the towel patterns, like the one we paper pieced in that tutorial, you could do that. You could draw, it will draw it out for you and then it will draw the blocks in. And you could get it to, if you, let me think about how I would explain this. You could get it to draw all of it in pencil first of all, so it draws the, the petals and the squares. And then you could go back in, take the fill function off and get it to draw just the outside of the petals with a pen. So then if you want to remove your blocks, your grid at the end, you can rub it out. 
So just have a real play around with all the functions that are in your scan and cut with these stencils because there's so much more than just cutting them out of Doflex. There's loads and loads of stuff that we can do. We can get really, really creative with it. So I'm going to leave it at that and I am going to go and get my laptop ready or my iPad and we're going to do some working canvas workspace.